Hello students of class 12. Today we are going to uh, revise the poem Asleep in the Valley by Arthur Rebo. Uh, <clears throat> you have already read the poem. What I'm going to do is I'm uh, quickly going to go through the poem once again. Um, as I have already written it over here that it's a Petrarchan sonnet. Uh, it's mentioned in your book also, Italian, Italian sonnet uh, written by Petrarch. Okay. Uh, which is a 14 sonnet is a 14 line poem which is divided into octave and sustate and in this octave uh, it uh, begins with a sunlit valley and a slow stream flowing across it and um, then you know the um, sun rays uh, streaming from the mountain tops that is it begins with a very lively picture of the nature and in this state um, okay and also in the octave uh, he talks of a soldier who is lying in this uh, thick undergrowth and um, but even if uh, even though he if he is uh, lying in a um, sunlit uh, you know valley he his face you know he's pale uh, next in this estate He's talking uh, once again. He's giving uh, a more detailed description of the soldier as to where he's lying. He's lying on a pillow of ferns, his feet on the flowers, and the rest of the body on the grass. And then he talks of uh, um, that you know he has a smile, okay, uh, which is like an infant. That is. Uh, without guile, that is without any sort of trickery. So um, that is, uh, he is saying that uh, the soldier is very innocent. That means, you know, uh, it also uh, tells us that the soldier is very young. And uh, then he also notices something very uh, strange, that even though insects are constantly, you know, buzzing around, but uh, still it doesn't disturb his sleep so and he also t uh, tells you know nature to keep him warm so that he does not catch a cold but you know uh, till the last line uh, we don't know actually uh, you know the uh, poet is just talking that the soldier is asleep but only the climax comes in the last line when he says two red holes that is two bullet wounds the soldier is already dead okay the war has snatched away his life so you know he just he just um, delays uh, the climax you know to heighten the suspense uh, means he keeps uh, means uh, he allows the reader to keep guessing as to what is going to happen in that way. So read, let us read it once. A small green valley, uh, asleep in the valley by Arthur Rivo. A small green valley where a slow stream flows and leaves long strands of silver on bright grass. From the mountain top streams the sun's rays. They fill the hollow full of light. A soldier, very young, lies open mouthed. A pillow made of ferns beneath his head. Asleep, stretched in the heavy undergrowth. Pale in his warm, green, sun soaked bed. His feet among the flowers, he sleeps. His smile is like an infant's, gentle without guile. Our nature keep him warm. He may catch cold. The humming insects don't disturb his rest. He sleeps in sunlight, one hand on his breast, at peace. In his side, there are two red holes. So, as I've already said, 
he begins with a description of nature and what is it a small green valley okay where a slow stream flows okay that is a stream flows down uh, the valley you know it originates from the mountain and flows down the valley and leaves long strands of silver on bright grass so leaves means which leaves means uh, looking at the stream it looks like a band of silver right uh, as strands means that like a band and why it says that strands of silver because of the reflection because when the sunlight is falling on the waters it gives a silvery appearance so uh, when the uh, poet is looking from a distance it appears to him as long strands of silver that's a you know long strips or bands of silver from the mountain streams the sun's rays so we can imagine okay the mountain tops and the sun rays uh, streaming okay and the uh, sun rays are you know filling up the whole um, you know area from the mountain tops to the valley everything is filled is bathed in sunlight uh, they fill the hollow full of light full of light means hollow here means the valley and full of light means the uh, he's talking of the sun rays a soldier very young so uh, we can guess you know he is allowing the readers to guess its age by the very phrase very young um lies open mouth so the mouth of the uh, soldier is little open a pillow made of ferns beneath his bed so beneath his bed his uh, no, um, he is um, keeping his head on the uh, pillow of ferns that means you know we can understand that there is a heavy undergrowth uh, there are some uh you know uh, different kinds of uh, flowering plants are there and ferns okay um uh, they are uh, means the wow, place where the head is resting is on the ferns and the rest of the body is on the grass and the feet is among the flowers now feet among the flowers is very significant okay we'll come to that later uh his feet among flowers uh he sleeps okay so the poet it appears to the poet that the uh soldier is sleeping okay um his smile and then he is uh, giving uh, some more details about the you know appearance of the soldier that is it, when i when i looked at the face it appeared that you know as though it 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 it, it, it was smiling face so uh, the you know, soldier it, it seems that the soldier is happy and the smile that he has already mentioned that the soldier is very young so it has a smile like a infant infant smile is full of innocence that's why he is saying gentle without guile guile means uh, no uh, you know no trickery or no sense of guilt in that way uh, that is the soldier smile is as innocent as that of an infant our nature keep him warm okay he may catch cold the humming insects don't disturb his friends so even the insects cannot disturb his friends he sleeps in sunlight one hand on his breast at peace so looking at him it seems that he is at peace but what does he discover he discovers in his side there are two red holes 
ओके स्टूडेंट्स वी विल डू वी विल डू सम मोर डिस्कशन ऑन द पोएम द क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर्स इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास थैंक यू